Hello, welcome back to Billy Lux. So today I have a genuine unboxing for you of my new Cartier piece. My love wedding ring that I received in the mail yesterday in 18 karat rose gold. So we're gonna go over everything to do with this ring, how to size it, the price in US dollars, Australian dollars, how it fits, how it feels, does it scratch, etc. We're gonna go over every single thing about this ring. My channel is all about my love of luxury items and designer items and fashion. So if those are the sort of things that you like watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can click the link below or you can find the link in my description. So because I am in Australia, we're currently in lockdown. So we can't go shopping and can't go to the boutique. So I actually ordered this piece of Cardia online and I ordered it on Sunday and it actually arrived yesterday, uh, Thursday. I did know that it was coming from Singapore and I started to freak out when I saw the tracking. I thought, why on earth is it coming from Singapore when we're in Australia? I'm sure they have stock here thinking, like it gave me an estimate of like 10 days before it arrived and I thought, oh, why did I even bother ordering online? I could have just texted my essay and got her to post it to me from Australia. So being stuck in lockdown, I just was so desperate to buy. So this is how it arrived. So they actually attempted delivery today while I was at work and I rung them and said, oh, can you please try and re-deliver because I'm gonna be home in like half an hour. So they made it happen, luckily. So this is my parcel. This thing's pretty nifty. Ready? I can't wait to open it. Hey. Nice. And my receipt. Just a nice slide out box. Inside here is a shopping bag. And there is my piece. Beautiful. Oh, even my cat's coming to have a look. Ready for the big reveal? Beautiful. Wow, so nice. Perfect fit. Doesn't it just look so nice? next to my matching bracelet oh my god i love it it's so pretty um i wanted it to match my bracelet and i wasn't sure whether the ring thickness was the same as the bracelet thickness so i can say it is not the ring is actually quite a lot thinner than the bracelet. This is what it looks like on. Here's my bracelet to match. Here I also have my Bulgari bracelet. You can see a video on my Bulgari jewelry collection if you like. I will list that in the description. Love bracelet and now my matching wedding band. Now last week I actually did a video all about this bracelet, all of the information about the Cartier small love bracelet. So I will put that in the description as well so you can check out that video. But this is how it looks on my finger in size 53. So it is snug. I probably could have gone a 54. But in summer, I sort of fluctuate quite a bit. So in winter, this will be nice and loose on my finger. And in summer, this is about how tight it will be because it's a little bit warm today. In summer, I sort of fluctuate quite a bit. So in winter, this will be nice and loose on my finger. 
and in summer this is about how tight it will be because it's a little bit warm today so yeah that's what it looks like Now I just want to show you the difference in colouring. They are both 18 karat rose gold or pink gold, but the ring looks slightly more pinker than the bracelet does. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Now I just want to do a little bit of a comparison in size between the bracelet. Got my partner's tape measure again. Here we can see I feel like the bracelet is closer to 4 mil white. Whereas the ring is closer to three and a half. So it is very, very slightly thinner than the bracelet width. And then here you can see the bracelet is a lot more substantial than the ring in thickness. So the thickness of the bracelet is about two mil. And then the thickness of the ring is one mil. So when I was ordering it, I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was going to be the same thickness as the bracelet or not, but it is actually considerably thinner in size. Although this does make it feel a lot more comfortable on the finger being so thin. It literally feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. It is so, so comfortable. It doesn't bother me when I close my fist which is what I was kind of concerned about. I don't like thick rings for that reason because I don't want them to dig in and feel really thick when I need to close my hand. So here are some mod shots of what it looks like on. It's very, very comfortable and sits very flush on your finger. Now I paid 1,690 Australian dollars for this ring in 18 karat rose gold. Now that is the same price for rose gold or yellow gold. White gold version is slightly more expensive. It is 1,810 Australian dollars. In US dollars for the yellow gold or the rose gold version, I have it on my phone, is 1,170 US dollars excluding tax and 1250 US dollars for the white gold version excluding tax. Now I just love the way that Cartier does this. I mean this is just I feel like it is so special. Hot wax and they stamp it and it looks so cool. Same on the other side. It's just that real beautiful touch that they have. I mean, I love it. I just feel like that's so special. Now, can I tell you, the size guide on the Cartier website for these rings is really difficult compared to the bracelet size guide. Bracelet was super, super easy to measure. Ring, really difficult. So I tried to do it online on their, um, on their size guide sheet. I tried to like Google it. I ended up looking up a few YouTube videos to try and figure out what size, you know, I could possibly be because I thought we we're in lockdown. I can't just go back to the store if it doesn't fit. So my tips for trying to figure out your size. I have an iMac computer with a big screen. So I ended up opening up, I don't have a printer. So how, you know, I couldn't print the piece of paper. So on my computer, I zoomed the size guide up like a hundred and something percent so that it was the size of an A4 piece of paper. Now I held an A4 piece of paper up to my computer screen so that it was that exact width and then um, all of the rings, like the circles on the size guide of all the different sizes, I then was able to hold up a ring to my computer screen that I knew fitted the finger that I was trying to size and it fit perfectly around the picture that way. So if you have a computer that you are able to zoom their size guide up, if you don't have a printer and you can't print it, zoom it up to be the size of an A4 piece of paper, 
um, widthways. And then all of the circles with the different sizes, you should be able to put one of your rings that you know fits you up to that screen and measure it exactly. So pretty much it was an exact match. Um, it covered the dark. There was a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of white around the outside and then there was my ring. So that was really helpful to me to figure out. I tried the string thing. You know, it wasn't cut. It was coming up that I was like a size 60 or something. And I just was like, this is so complicated. I can't figure out, you know, my size off of this thing, the way that they recommend doing it. So, and especially with string, you put it around your finger. You're like, do I put it tight? Do I put it loose? Like, and then my fingers fluctuate all the time, depending on the weather. You know, sometimes my rings will be falling off. Other times they're super tight and I can't get them off. So let me just say, the cardio size guide is really complicated and that was the best way that I knew to figure out my size was to zoom it up and stick my ring on the computer screen and size it around that way. So this is what it should look like for you. A little ring of white around the outside of your ring. So... 53 is the one that I purchased purely because I ended up finding a photo of an old Bulgari ring that I used to wear on that finger and I knew that I fitted a 53 but I could have also gone a 54 so that would have been perfect 55 I think would have been too tight because it's literally like right on the circle so yeah when you're working it out this is how I did it on my computer screen and then there's white around the outside so I hope you enjoyed my video about my beautiful new love ring. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of my regular weekly content. Um, yeah, please leave me a comment. I always reply and thank you and have a great day.